guys, it's Danger Debs, and you better find out more about me, because today, we're talking about Queen Elsa. I got Elsa's dress in a charity shop for two pounds! I know, right? This is the cheapest cosplay I got out of all my cosplays if you add them up. It was just a casual day, walking through the shops, going past all charity shops, and I go into British Heart Foundation, looking at the dresses, and there's a costume. Why the heck is there a costume? It's not even new Halloween. This is April time. So I look at the price tag, it's two pounds, even though it's size 16. I'm glad there was no smaller size. The same day, I brought an Elsa wig online for 22 pounds. It works out. So this is my Elsa costume. And this is my Elsa wig. The first time I got this wig, it didn't stay on properly, so I had to use some glue to keep it on. I bet I'm the only person who can say I brought the cheapest Elsa costume. Because everybody else who's got an Elsa costume, it's way more expensive than mine. Because how much is your Elsa cosplay? Take that, all you Elsa cosplayers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I've only cosplayed Elsa at one Comic Con event so far. This is April time, and it was just coming up to Page of Comic Con. So I hired a table to start a Scottish YouTube meetup because I was really into wanting to meet all the Scottish YouTubers and there was none in Inverness. I come from Inverness. Where the heck are you all? Are we really hidden? Are we really hidden? Well, I looked it up. There are now, but back in the day. I couldn't find any YouTubers in Inverness. So the meetup was great at Paisley Comic Con. I met so many people. Many people signed up to join the group. You can join the group today. If you are a Scottish YouTuber, living in Scotland, or not, but are Scottish, and you've been a YouTuber for more than three months, join us. Join us. But there may never be a meetup again, because I'm so into cosplay. Despite all our different themes on YouTube channel, we still met up. Yay! Check the vlog. The last Scottish YouTube meetup. It was a good day. Also, the same day, people really thought I was Elsa. A lot of kids saying, where is Anna? Where is Olaf? And I just really was in character when I got asked that question from little kids. Oh, Olaf's not here, but he loves summer. It's summer soon, what are you doing for summer? Where is Anna? And I just came up with some lines where they are. Oh, Anna's back in Aradon, looking after the kingdom where I am here. Also during Pace of Comic Con, there was kind of a parade. Basically, we went outdoors for a photo shoot, did the conga line, and then all got to hold the sign, Paisley Comic Con. Also, the same day as Elsa, I had to learn how to drag the dress because the dress was longer than me. So I was like scared. It's gonna get dirty on the way there. So I tied it up around my ankles to make sure it didn't touch the ground. That's the last thing you want, your dress to get dirty. I've been in that position because I remember being an extra on Outlaw King, which is a movie on Netflix, you can check it out. See if you can spot me in the first scene. My dress is so muddy. And we shot that scene for three days. The last thing you want is your dress to get muddy. Because you can never get it out and that cosplay will be ruined for the rest of your life and you regret it. Because you didn't prepare. The next time I was Elsa was for a photo shoot. This was straight after me and Kay's last radio show. So we saw Frozen 2. So after Frozen 2, I dressed up as Elsa really quickly in the bathroom. And for 20 minutes, I had a photo shoot next to Santa's grotto. Even though there was the security guard saying, kind of stop. I don't know what he's intending, but he was just watching us. But we got through the day, I got undressed, we got home safely, no dirty dress, <laughs> all safe and sound. And that was the last time I was Elsa. Also, there was another time I used this Elsa costume. Well, a guy used it and we were shooting a movie. Well, wearing this for a short movie and I didn't wash it. He said it smelled, but we had to do the short movie anyway, so we had to wear the smelly Elsa costume. I was scared to put the washing machine in and would turn not what it should be. But I really want to update Elsa's dress when she's in Frozen 2. <coughs> so this is the fabric I hope to use. You see me cosplay as Elsa from the Let It Go song, but I'm also cosplaying Elsa from Show yourself, I'm dying to meet you. So I want my dress to literally change when I'm at the con. 
So do you want me to Elsa 1 or Elsa 2? That is my cosplay dream for when I update Elsa. Don't know how. <clears throat> I would love to be Elsa again. Maybe at my next con, whenever that is. My last con was at Capital Sci-Fi and I was Queen Amidala. And that's the next cosplay costume are we talking about. Me as Queen Amidala. If you don't know her, look up Star Wars. She's part of me, of course. <laughs> There's a story behind that. There's a story behind how me and my friends became friends because of Padme, the character. So see you next time. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe. And remember, it's the memories that make us. So go in there and make some good memories and not some bad memories.